top of the world. Carmen's back. And just when you finally got that catchy theme song out of your head. Where is Carmen San Diego? Carmen San Diego. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top five reasons to watch Carmen San Diego. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at why the latest incarnation of Carmen Sandiego is worth binge-watching on Netflix. So we must ask ourselves, who in the world is Carmen Sandiego? Number 5. It's fun for kids and adults. Whether you grew up with the game shows, animated series, or computer games, Carmen Sandiego left a strong impression on 90s kids around the world. This Netflix series is a nostalgic blast from the past. That takes elements from the franchise's previous incarnations, while also leaving its own distinctive calling card. You do have a name, don't you? It's... Carmen. Carmen San Diego. That being said, the show does not require viewers to have an established connection to the franchise, winning newcomers over with its hair-raising adventures and witty humor. $100, do I hear $150? $150,000! This makes the show appealing for both adults who want to revisit their youth and kids who are being introduced to Carmen for the first time. If you're a parent looking for a show to enjoy with your children, this should be at the top of your watch list. Number 4. The Slick Animation and Design The animation for this series was provided by DHX Media, which ironically now owns Deke Entertainment, the same production company that brought us Where on Earth is Carmen Sandiego? What really distinguishes this new series, however, is the design work from Chromosphere Animation. Visual designer Kevin Dart has previously worked as an art director for Steven Universe and a visual development artist for Big Hero 6. His stylish signature can definitely be found in Carmen Sandiego, which cleverly looks like a postcard brought to life. While Carmen has always stood out in her iconic trench coat and hat, the backgrounds and color scheme give her an extra flair here, making the lady in red more eye-catching than ever before. Number 3. It's equally entertaining and educational. Like its predecessors, the reboot of Carmen Sandiego manages to simultaneously entertain and educate its audience. While there are no lightning rounds, almost every episode takes a minute or so to share a little trivia about the location Carmen is passing through. The Outback. It may sound like someone's backyard, but it's a huge wilderness that covers more than 80% of Australia. That's over half the size of the US or China. These fun facts don't feel shoehorned in, however, as many of them relate to the story in some capacity. Carmen, of course, travels all over the world, from Indonesia to Amsterdam to Sydney. Each stop not only provides historical and geographic information, but also a sense of culture that makes us want to visit her destinations. The Netherlands isn't only known for its tulips, windmills, and wooden shoes. It's famous for its painters from the Dutch Golden Age of the 1600s. Vermeer among them. At the same time, the showrunners balance matters out with action and adventure, making us forget that we're expanding our minds while having fun. Number 2. The Serialized Story Number 2, huh? I think I just did that in my pants. While the series is mostly episodic, with a caper of the week, there's also a serialized story that sees Carmen grow as a character. The first two episodes are dedicated to Carmen's backstory, depicting her as an orphan taken in by the organization Vile. I was brought to an island paradise that just happened to be home to a school for thieves. That's right, Vile Academy. This lays the groundwork for a lot of interesting character dynamics, particularly between Carmen and Professor Shadowson, who's seemingly out to get her. You had better be certain that becoming a professional thief is what you truly desire. For if you choose this road, there will be no turning back." Another overarching subplot centers on Acme detectives who are hot on Carmen's heels, but always one step behind. This series is less about finding Carmen, though, and more about unraveling her mysterious past. With more twists and turns than one might anticipate, it's always fun to see where Carmen San Diego takes us next. Number 1. The Titular Character In Where on Earth is Carmen San Diego? The titular character was brought up by Acme and later turned to a life of crime. 
This series flips Carmen's old origin story on its head, as she betrays Vile upon learning of their wicked ways. Evil. <laughs> My entire upbringing was a lie. Stealing isn't a game. It does harm people. Carmen thus emerges as a Robin Hood-like figure who only robs from the corrupt. It's a unique approach to the character that sees her evolve from a villainess to a heroine we can look up to. If Dr. Bellum thinks I'll stand by while she risks people starving so Vile can make a quick buck, <laughs> she has a surprise coming. Carmen remains as charismatic, cheeky, and compelling as ever, which has a lot to do with Gina Rodriguez's charming voiceover performance. Stinks running out of paper. Now can we try chatting without killing any trees? She brings out Carmen's humanity like never before encouraging us to follow her around the world. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.